Hey, Bruce Naylor here, AKA Frugal Tech, and welcome to another installment of the IT Shop. This is uh, really kind of a fun thing for me to do because I like to share different bits and pieces of business mixed with technology. I run a small technology business. Basically, I'm in the network security space. And, uh, but some of the things that I like to share with you can really apply to just about any situation. I have a passion for business. Not necessarily all that popular on YouTube business for whatever reason. Certainly not as popular as makeup or fashion tips or the latest gaming hardware, but still, I like helping putting a buck or two in your pocket. So if you like these videos, can you share them with other people and let them know about uh, the IT shop from Old Frugal Tech here? Okay, so today I want to talk to you about what is called BANT, B-A-N-T. What is BANT? Well, BANT is a way to qualify prospects better, more effectively, and make you some more money. So let's talk about what BANT means. Well, BANT is basically a guideline of questions to ask to answer specific questions. And these questions are, uh, do, does the prospect have the budget to actually do the job? Do they got the cash to actually pay you with, or is it a budget item somewhere down the road? Number two, do they have the authority? That's the big one. I don't know how many times, especially in the world of sales, uh, and, and even in tech, and probably a lot in technology, where you're really not dealing with the decision maker. Um, a lot of times I'll get their, I, you know, company's IT guy on the phone. He's looking for a solution to whatever problem. But, he, he, you know, and I've done a great job working with him. But turns out he never had the authority to say yes. There was actually a boss out there somewhere that he in turn had to get approval from. And maybe they didn't see the value in all this. So... When you're qualifying a prospect, it's important to know and make sure who's ever got that authority to be in the loop. Now, the next one, the N stands for the need. Do they actually have a need for the product? And that's really important. Believe me, at least in IT, and I'm sure in just about any other business, you have a lot of tire kickers. You got people, you just want to play around with the latest software, and you spend a lot of time answering questions doing demos and all this kind of stuff, only to find out it's really something they didn't need. They were just educating themselves. So make sure that they have a need for your product or service. And finally, the timeline, that's the T. What timeline do they have if they like the product, that they like your service? When are they looking to implement? If it turns out that, you know, they're thinking a year from now, this is really not a a hot lead or a well-qualified prospect. Once you get somebody under the band, then you can learn and develop your own way to kind of score whether it's a hot lead or whether it's a warm lead or a cold lead. And you want to spend your time concentrating on the warm and the hot leads and not as much on the cold leads. Band works for me and I think it works for just about any situation in sales. And whether it's technology, selling cars, whatever you're doing. You, do you do you bant, bro? Do you? You should. It works. And uh, that's just the thing I wanted to share with you today. As always, I appreciate your comments down below. And if you like my videos, give them that big thumbs up. Bruce Naylor, have a great and productive week ahead. I'll talk to you later.